Good morning, W. Ross. Today is Thursday, October 19th, 2017. And first, there is a Rainbow Club announcement. They're meeting today at lunch in Miss Cresswell's room. And now, here's Justice. Good morning, W. Ross. Um, I am here to bring you a student council announcement. So the Halloween dance is approaching. The date is October 30th, and the times are 7.30 to 9.30. It is free if you wear a costume, and free if you have a student card. If not, it'll be $5. Please listen tomorrow or on Monday for further details. Thank you. This announcement is brought to you by Student Council, creating fun and safe events for your whole school community. Now here's Miss Gillen. Thanks, Joel. This is another reminder for anybody in grade 10 who is a day student and currently enrolled in the Duke of Edinburgh Award Program. Please come to the library today, Lab 1 at 1210. Thank you. Now here's sport. This is your senior resident's daily sports report with Scoop Reed, Lefty List, Hometown Harris, and veteran reporter Microphone Brules. Good morning, sports fans. Microphone Brules back again. It was a busy night in the Otter Dome as the double-A goalball season kicked off. Since we have had such a great turnout this season, we now have two divisions, the first division and the premier division. Each division is made up of three teams. Game one of the first division had the Malvern 7 playing Tristis team, which her name will be, she'll pick a name for her team for next week. It was a close game with Trista's team winning by a score of 4-3. to three. For Trista's team, Isabella and Megan had one goal apiece and Natalie had two. For the Malvern Severn, John had two goals and Jake had one. In game two of the first division, the Malvern Seven played against Serena's team. Serena came in with four goals. Miranda had two and Alight had one to beat the Malvern Seven by a score of 7-3. to three. For the Malvern 7, John got two goals, and Christian had one. Now, I'm lucky enough here to have uh, a member of Trista's team, Isabella, who scored a goal last night. It's Isabella the Intimidator. And did you uh, display your intimidating shot last night, Isabella? Yes, I did, Mr. Microphone Brawls. And what did you enjoy most about the game? I liked winning and scoring that goal. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Isabella. The Flying Popcans faced the Hawks in Game 1 of the Premier Division. It was a high-scoring game that was close right until the whistle. The crowd was on their feet as the game went into overtime as the Mod scored the winning goal to make it a 10-9 win for the Flying Popcans. For the Hawks, Logan and Noor had three goals each, and Logan, Cooper, and Lauren had one goal apiece. For the Flying Popcans, Liam had three goals, Pierre, Darren, and Ahmad had two goals each, and Alana broke through with the tough defense to score a single goal. Game two between Nuo, Sandy, and the Hawks proved to have some superior girl, superior girl power. Wo Sandy took the win with a final score of 13 to eight against the Hawks. Noor single-handedly scored six goals with Logan helping out with two for the Hawks. For the Wo Sandy, Joe scored six goals, Justice and Sarah had three each, and Jenna got one. And that league will continue again next Wednesday with a double header in each division. Now, the Brant County Cross Country Running Championships were held on our grounds yesterday. The weather was spectacular for the mid-October and the bees were still very busy, but not as busy as the otters on their home turf. The W. Ross McDonald School Racers were upbeat and ready for the upcoming challenge. They beat their previous race time and proved to yourself and everyone else that you are ready for the Monster Quasa course next week. Unfortunately, the heat was going to make the challenge for very difficult. Nathan dropped 30 seconds off his already impressive time to grab a 25-21 for his 6K. Darren Kay finally found his stride and dropped a full minute off his time. Liam beat Caleb to tie their head-to-head -head battle, leaving next week's race as a season tiebreaker. Jolie, Madison, and Eddie all slightly improved their running pace. Mer Miranda received some bad directions while leading a race and had to run an extra 800 meters. She will be looking for a redemption next week. All the runners are reminded of tonight's very important meeting and practice to prepare for next week's Quasa. I'm Microphone Brules. I'm Isabella Dean, investigator, and we are out of here.
everyone have a good time and enjoy the hip music this weekend. Currently it is 14 degrees and partly cloudy for most of the day with a high of 19. Clouds should clear up after the school day though today. Tomorrow we can expect more sun and a high of 21. Back to you, Joel. All right, that's all for today. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. See you later.